Alright everybody, this is time for the uh, large grow tent update. Let me grab the camera, take you over there. Not much has changed, I mean there is a lot of new growth on the, uh, the tomato plants. You can see there's a lot of a lot of flower set here. You can see there's some, the tomatoes are starting to form. So we're gonna have a lot of new tomatoes coming on up in this plant, all through here. And we have a bunch of red ones that I haven't stolen yet to, to munch on down here into the house when I get home from work. So maybe I'll uh, I'll take a bunch of those for uh, this week's salad so I can appease Paula, let her know that I'm not stealing all the tomatoes. Got some more red ones that are coming on down here. That's gonna be a nice harvest. We've got some that look like they're about to turn over there on this plant. This plant hasn't had as much production on the lower part, but uh, you can see there's a lot, of, a lot of flowers and fruit set coming on on this one up on the top. And we got a bunch of new fruit set coming on the top of the plant over here, so should be getting some new tomatoes leading into spring on these. Uh, the peppers, they seem to be doing okay. I think I overwatered them a little bit this week because I came down and I just did a big mass dump watering and uh, some of them started to turn a little yellow, so I haven't watered today. I'm gonna probably hold off for another maybe two days on that, give them a chance to dry out. So you can see they got a kind of a little bit of a yellow mealy look to the leaves. And, you know, peppers, they don't like to be wet and sitting in wet soil too often. But uh, you can see there's a pepper that's starting to turn on the big pepper. It's turning red, so that's good. And I got it a little wet too at the same time, so you can see there's a lot of kind of yellowy, kind of spotty kind of leaves. And also I noticed there's some uh, some white flies on that one, so I'm gonna have to take care of that this week. Maybe dose it down with a little insecticidal soap after I'm done filming this video. So I wanna make sure I keep on top of that because I don't wanna have that get loose in a tent because then it can start spreading everywhere and make a mess of your production. All right, that's kind of the update for the large tent. Not much happening right now until we get the plants from the small grow tent and move them over to this tent into the five inch pots and then when these some of this stuff's going to move out onto the deck to start getting it acclimated to being outdoors because we're starting to get some warmer weather i mean like the next few days we're supposed to have i believe 70 degrees for our daytime highs so i'll take some of these plants outside before i go to work and then i'll take them back inside when i get home you know to just start to acclimatize some of these peppers so that way they're going to get ready to be outdoors i mean i know it's not yet time to put them out but i like to get them out there if they're not going to freeze i'd rather have them ready to be in the ground as soon as that ground's ready, then have to then take them and spend two weeks trying to get them ready to be in the ground. And I don't know, I just love putting these plants outside and getting new ones going, because that's part of my thing is <laughs> planting outdoors. I love being outside in the dirt. And uh, you guys have seen my videos, so you know. <laughs> All right, this is Brian, I've been rambling here. All right, this is Brian from PMB Homesteading. Talk to you again next week, bye.